person in the world has a thought. It changes by the influence of the situation surrounding them. Finality of life depends on whether the thought is good or bad. The world has two types of people, one who believe in God, two who do not believe in God. For those who do not believe in God, everything is physical or there is nothing over and above. They believe in anything and everything but the freedom of thought. Everything was clear to me, but I had a thought after reading the book Final Exit. What if I am out of this world? Ajay, I'm going to interview the writer. Don't print the title now. I'll call you back. People say, to believe in God is to believe in yourself. To me, believing in yourself is to believe in God. I came to know that there are others who do not believe in God and do not believe in themselves either. Raman was one such guy.
जाए आई गॉट इज फ्रेंड्स डिटेल्स यू कैन मीट दम नाव एंड वेट ही हैज अ क्लोज फ्रेंड अर्जुन आई डोंट हैव इज नंबर बट आई विल टेक्सट इज एड्रेस पार्ट ऑफ मी वॉन्टेड टू नो वॉट हैड किल्ड हिम पार्ट ऑफ मी वॉन्टेड टू लीव हिम एलोन आई मेट रामन्स फ्रेंड्स I couldn't get myself. I asked myself the same question when I saw him being taken away. Was he always this weak? Did he really think death was a way out? I don't think he did this to find a way out. To him, this must have been the only way out. Reading a book that shows him ways to die is not the way out. Maybe he should have asked you for a way out. God will never forgive him for what he has foolishly done to himself. And I will never forgive your God. for letting this happen what do you mean um all right let me put it this way you thought what you did was morally right yet you have come here to to convince yourself that you were not the reason for his death maybe he wanted to prove that your thoughts were wrong by playing dice with his life all right so only god can play dice with everyone's lives You never know how much you really believe in something until its truth or falsehood becomes a question of life and death to you. I hope you never find out that your faith is based on a lie. This is not his mistake or anyone's. It's solely others' mistake. Not the one who read it, but the person for the influence should die. took away my parents when i was 9 or that's what everyone said they also said anyone who believes in god goes to heaven after they die what i was told was no comfort to me back then and it doesn't make any sense god can keep my parents in heaven all to himself as long as i get to keep my life under my control i wasn't going to surrender my faith to some force who has no control over good and bad in this world final exit has started out as a feeling was turned into a thought which turned into a loud word 
my word now i can't end the thought of the author but i can end the author I want him dead. Raman was one such guy. Final exit was my thought about what God does to our life. I don't regret writing this book because it was my perception of God and life. But the fact that my thought in the form of a book is the cause of my brother's death hurts me most. Raman's death shook me but what scares me more is that he paved way for his own final exit not by giving up on me or by giving up on himself to him his death was an experiment of pure evil and suffering by his thought i still don't regret telling him no when he asked me to marry him because i know that wouldn't have changed things 
what i regret is not knowing if the way he ended his life is any better than if i had accepted him been with him and died before him would he have faced the fact that i had died of cancer or would he have killed himself later the way he did now if the way he ended his life is any better anywhere you go anywhere you go